How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. John, good to see you, yeah. virtual. Boom. I need to get the order for today. Sure. Here's what we want. We want to do a hamburger. We want to do the famous roast beef sandwich with the au jus. Yeah. We want to get the Coney Island, and I mean make it sloppy. Your famous homemade coleslaw. And for something healthy, we'll do some fried mushrooms. <laughs> and you know what? What's your soup? Soup today is chicken enchilada. Homemade get, every morning. Get one bowl of that for Terry, because you know, Terry loves soup. And anything else that you think I should get? The gooey butter cookie is homemade. Let's do three of the gooey butter cookies. Okay. Actually, make it four of the gooey butter cookies, but leave one of them out. Yeah. I'm going to eat that in the car. That's going to be the car cookie. Good call. We're not going to tell anybody about that one. Thank God, these guys won't stop texting me. It's like they've never eaten in their lives. There you go, there's Fantastic. the bag. Everything's Did you good. put a lot of napkins in? There's a ton. Because when Terry yeah. eats anything, right. he could eat a stick of celery and make a mess. Plenty of napkins. See you soon. Where's that? I don't know, but I am hungry. Yeah, I'm where he's Hold always your waiting. horses, I'm here, I'm here. There he is. Where are we oh, eating from? We got plenty of food. All right, it's a surprise. Okay. I okay. went. What am I going to find out? Classic St. Louis. I went to O'Connell's. O'Connell's. Oh, yeah. That, I think that was the very first place that the three of us ever ate together, like 20 years ago. Where do you see the selection I got for you guys? You know, we have very close, Andrew, Andrew, deep roots with O'Connell's. We have a big history with O'Connell's. Is that right? Jack Parker, who was the original proprietor of O'Connell's, his son, John Parker, has been a close friend of mine since childhood. Jack, sadly, uh, passed away this summer, uh, and John took it over. Oh, wow. I may have ordered too much. I'm gonna own that. Better I'm too much than that. too little. You just don't look like a guy who would order too you much. You know what, I didn't know exactly what you would want or what you would want. I thought, what if I got this and you said, oh, I wish I had that. No, no. So I, I had to get it for you too. The soup. He said that it's their most popular soup. It's delicious. It does look amazing. Finally, you start a meal off properly with a little soup. Well, that's yeah, got a lot of It sort of loosens everything up. That's very good. This, this is out. Taste that. Taste that, because I think you're going to love that. Now, I have not been to O'Connell's since they redid um, things for COVID, but I've heard a lot from my friend John about it. You I went saw there. It. I, I did. He's put a tremendous amount of work they into did. making it. You know what they did? You know COVID how they safe. had those? I felt very safe there. I, yeah. Is it is it just me that has this Coney Island staring at you? You know what? And, I, and the Coney Island I got specifically for you. I said, you know what? It's going to aggravate him that I brought more hot dogs onto a sandwich show. But they do put them on double hamburger buns. They don't use hot dog buns. Those are hamburger buns. There's a hot dog there. There's um, chili, cheese, all the food groups. I gotta tell you, I love a Coney Island. How are we gonna do this? What do you mean? We're gonna eat. Yeah. No, but we can eat uh, you're, just you're, every. Well, we all moved on from this. Oh my God, you sitting there putting oyster crackers on there? Oh you know, that's just the, supposed to be for a couple of spoons. I like soup. No wonder you're so full. Well, you know what? I shouldn't complain. He's always I, so I, full I got at the it. end. I got it for him. Well, let me ask you guys this. Well, what the heck have you guys been doing for the last seven months? I've been watching some television. Watching a lot of television. Yeah, what do we eat? Roast beef first? Yeah, the roast beef first. I've eaten half the things here already. Oh, uh, we're... Open we're... the roast beef, but I don't have the au jus. So what have you been doing? I've been having a lot of Zoom conferences. I'll tell you this, I forgot how to put my pants on. <laughs> Oh, it's funny you say that. I'm telling you. I couldn't remember which leg I typically put in first. I didn't know there was such a thing. That roast beef is so good. If you're severely OCD, there is such a thing. You know, people forget how good the roast beef at O'Connell's is. Yeah. It's cut a little bit thicker than what you'd normally see. That's good beef. And a little bit of salt really brings out that flavor. I have had pants on one day. Well, what was the occasion? Uh, was there a funeral of some sort? Right, no, who died? No, no, I, I had to shoot something. Uh, you never shoot in pants. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen you shoot in well, pants. Well, they wanted to shoot, uh, they, they wanted the whole tear. Wow. Jesus. Wow. You know, they so had no I idea did, what they I were getting it. their the, into. Let, let me show you why I, why I chose O'Connell's. That's a beautiful burger. Yes, because this is what I figured. And this is just my theory, but I think in these times of uncertainty and chaos, I think you cling to uh, comfort foods, and there's nothing that screams comfort food nothing. more than a, a hamburger. Cheeseburger. Oh. A hamburger. Uh, uh, you got cheese there. Mm, look at that. You see that? That's like grilling it up on you know, your own grill. This is incredible. I'm gonna put a little slaw on mine. 
That's good coleslaw. They do their coleslaw homemade, of course, all of them. And the burger's the same every time I've had it. Well, that's the thing. What do I always say? Consistency, that's what makes a place. I'll tell you, I had lost a lot of weight. I felt good, I looked good, and I went to buy some blue jeans. And the young man said, would you like the blue jeans with a little stretch in them? So I figured, what do I know? This guy sells them all day. So I went and bought them. Well, best jeans you ever had. The best jeans I ever had, but over the next six months, I gained like 40 pounds because in yeah. stretch jeans, yeah. you don't know. You when know. you have re When you have regular cloth jeans, when you gain a little weight, you feel it. And you're saying, oh, sh you no, know, I'm, yeah, I'm that's, that's class what? action lawsuit. No, no I'm telling get you. get out of here. It's his own fault. No, he knew what he was I'm eating. I'm telling you, I, I blame it. You, you think I'm kidding. I blame it 100% on my stretch blue jeans. Wait, 100% on the blue jeans? And yeah, zero I didn't percent know. on you. It, it, oh, what did I do? You were eating the food. I'm just a man having wow. sustenance. I have to let you guys know that these are special cookies. It was pointed out to me. This is actually made by one of the employees there. It's her recipe. And everyone knows that St. Louis is known for a gooey butter cake, but this is a gooey butter cookie. Look at this. What is this, cookie. powdered sugar? It is powdered sugar, but the cookie is so spongy and light. Oh my God. That's because I don't... Is that a lemon cookie? No, it's a gooey butter gooey cookie, butter. but it's so light. Oh, John told me about yeah, these. Yeah, it's got a really good sponge to it. Mm, this is a so winner. You're, you're not watching the Great British Baking Show? Uh, no. I know what you're thinking. It's really good. There's something about it. These people love baking. I felt like after I watched eight seasons of that, plus the master class... You watched eight seasons eight of seasons it? Eight seasons of it, yeah. And, and let me tell you, I was sad. I watched eight seasons. I didn't even I make it through all done. the seasons of The Wire, and I loved it. Once, I won't ruin it for anybody, but once a particular character died, the show went right yeah. off the cliff. Jumped the shark. Totally. You think most people know where that expression comes from? Uh, no, they Jumps don't. The I, know, I know where it came from, yeah, but I don't I remember know most it people too. do. I remember that episode. Yeah. You, you know where it comes from, right? Yeah. Happy Days. It was a must-see for I every family. Days. And one day, I was in Los Angeles, and I'm taking, I'm in urinating, and I look next to me, and it's Ralph Mouth. Really? Donnie yeah. Most? Yeah. Huh. I like how you call him by his character name. Yeah. Was he in character when he peed, or he was Donnie Most? And well, I, I look at you him, and I say, Ralph Mouth. And he just, you know, he gave me that, you know, like, please, don't shoot me. You know, he was scared. You can get Donnie the good Most old on days. Cameo. Thank you all so much for watching Three Lorries Eating Sandwiches. And now more than ever, if you want your favorite sandwich places to stay in business during these times, you gotta order, carry out, pick up, curbside, delivery, because the truth of it is when the weather gets cold, we're not gonna be able to do all the outdoor eating. It's not gonna be safe inside all the time. That's true. Buy gift cards, give them away for uh, Christmas and yes, Hanukkah and birthdays. Great idea. Christmas should be all gift cards to local restaurants. It's and if you can, idea, do what you can to keep these places also, in business. We don't need to hear any more comments about how he talks and eats with his mouth open. The man is 75 years old. Let him eat the way he wants to eat. He's earned the right.